To mirror the database initially we need three SQL instances. They are principal, mirror, and witness. First I will connect to the principal server. And then create a database, table and insert some values in that table. We need to take full backup and one transaction log backup from principal server. Now connect to the mirror server instance. First restore the backup file with no recovery option. And then restore the transaction log file also with no recovery option. Now I'm connecting witness server. Right click the database you want to mirror from principal server. Select the task and then select mirror. Click the configure security button. Database mirroring wizard will be opened. Connect the principal, mirror and witness server and finish the wizard. Mirroring wizard configured successfully. Click start mirroring and press yes. Now principal server successfully synchronized with mirror server. Click the principal instance and press refresh. Now notice that database changed to principal. Similarly click the mirror instance and refresh. Database changed to mirror. Insert some new value in principal server. And go to mirroring option and then press failover. Failing over database mirroring will swap the role of the mirror and principal databases. The mirror database will become the principal server, and current principal server will become mirror and it's inaccessible. Now notice that newly inserted values in the principal server are synchronized with the mirror server. In case the principal server is down, then the mirror server will automatically change to the principal server. You can monitor the mirroring by click Launch Database Mirroring Monitor. If you have error 1418 occurred while starting mirroring, you need to change the account to local window authentication to resolve the error. Thanks for watching.